this back to back where you win one in overtime last night, you have to come from behind tonight. Is that good for this team with what you're trying to accomplish to win games like that? It's definitely good. I think um, you know, facing a little bit of adversity, it's always good for the team. You know, they came out in the second quarter, they were knocking down shots. Uh, they were physical defensively. It wasn't uh, playing, you know, great basketball, but uh, we were able to, you know, close the second quarter hard. And uh, came, we came out out of the half, played better, moved the ball better. Uh, we we're knocking down shots. We we're defending better. So it's good. I think um, it makes us play better. And uh, things not things not always gonna go well. Did tonight feel like a playoff type of atmosphere? Yeah. You know, we, you expect that. You know, this is the second time we face uh, Toronto. Uh, we got the first one at home. You know they're gonna come out, try to set the tone, try to play hard. You know they're a team that don't stop playing hard. You know, and uh, that's why they win so many games, and uh, that's why they're so good. But you expect that, and uh, we knew that we gotta come um, out here and earn it. Last time you were here was Game Six last season. Was that on your mind tonight at all? Uh, obviously, obviously. Um, you always remember the last time you uh, played here, uh, the feelings you had. Uh, it was definitely on my mind. What did you know, learn from the way they were defending you in that first half? Trying to maybe adjust to overtime. Man, it's hard. Um, sending a second guy on the catch, uh, that's that's definitely hard. But you just got to outsmart the defense now. Like, you cannot go play ISO uh, one against two. Uh, you just got to be able to move it. Uh, they got big bodies. They got people that go, they go for deflections. Just as I said, you gotta smart. You gotta be in the right spot. You gotta hope your team and go to the right spot and uh, just uh, find them and uh, hopefully you know they make shots. Did, uh, did you feel like Bud put you in a little bit different spots in that third quarter to hopefully help you guys be a little bit more decisive and, and attack their or their defense a little bit better? Who? Bud? Bud put you. In no. Different spots for now. No, I was just I was just trying to go to a different spot. I don't think Coach Bud put me in those spots. You know, it's kind of. Like if you go from the top and you attack, attack, attack all the time, you know, the defense know it, they get set, and they do the same thing over and over again. You got to make them guess, you know, keep them guessing and um, try to switch, switch spot, try to go to the corner a little bit, try to go to the wing a little bit, try to go down from the baseline and come out and set screens. Just keep the defense guessing and, um, you know, make them move so I can find the right pass. And not just being like you know one guy just holding the ball for like five seven seconds. For you, you and Brooke combined for you and Brooke combined for eight blocks. You had ten as a team. Do you almost welcome teams coming into the paint because you know you have that presence there? So it's always good. You know Brooke is always going to be there. It makes our job a lot easier. Um, even the blocks I had today, um, probably Brooke went there and I was able to come from behind or something like that. It's always something like that. So I. Definitely, we got to give the credit all to Brooke. Uh, he's just doing a great job, just being present in the paint and um, helping us, you know, making our life a lot easier. Because a lot of teams, teams, when teams get in the paint, a lot of defenses panic. You guys seem like, okay, we're going to send you right back, no problem. Yeah, that's that's all, Brooke. What was your reaction to Drake bringing out the championship belts tonight? I didn't notice that. I just found out about it. Uh, I don't know who told me. Probably Dante. Somebody told me. I, I. You know, when I'm in the game, I'm just locked in and uh, try to win the game. I really don't look outside pants or you know, what they do and all that. I asked Drake if he was bringing the belts to troll you, and he said obviously he was. Oh, that's good. Um, he cares about me. I, I really don't. So I'm just here to win games and um, help my team with. You know, have my team win. That's that's all. You talked about looking for your teammates. What was your assessment of your personal vision tonight? So, uh, starting the game, getting the ball in the block, seeing immediately a guy coming over the catch, uh, double teaming me. So I'm like, okay, cool. Tonight's not going to be the night. So I got to find guys. Um, the second half, you know, you can't get a rhythm. Uh, in, the fr in the first half, I couldn't get a rhythm. In the second half, I was like, okay, I got to rebound the ball better. And uh, hopefully, when I break the ball down, I can get a rhythm like that, find guys, and guys can knock down shots. And if guys don't shoot the ball, maybe the ball can find me back and then I can attack. So that was my mindset. Do you feel more comfortable in that position now? Yeah, I have to. Like, there's no there's no other choice. You know, I got I to gotta feel comfortable for us to be successful. I got to be comfortable in. Uh, some days is scoring, some days is passing, some days is clean. I got to be comfortable in everything and ready for everything.
uh, in, in games where the game after you had some foul trouble, you typically try to be very aggressive. You try to make that statement. They sent the doubles. They sent the triples. So you couldn't do that tonight. How hard was it to kind of have that control? That hey, I'm not going to be able to have that night tonight. I'm going to have to be a passer. I'm going to be a facilitator. You know, Coach Bud says that um, you know I'm stubborn. You know, one of my best qualities that I'm stubborn. One of my worst qualities that I'm stubborn. So. You know, when you start the game, you know, I want to come out aggressive. I wasn't able to play um, in overtime last night, and I had six fouls. I wouldn't be aggressive. But obviously, the t- you know, the team, the team didn't let me be aggressive. Um, they were sending the second guy. They were defending really well. But uh, you got to, there's got to be some, you know, sometimes you got to mature and uh, say, okay, tonight is not the night. You got to find, you know, you got to find your open guy and. Um, and I think Coach Bad have helped me with that a lot. Just try to like be mature about it and not try to force it as much as possible. Yeah, that's what you think about the way Marvin is able to come off the bench and help him in that game in the third quarter. Good job, man. He's always ready. He's playing great defense, and he's, uh, we know who Marvin is. He can knock down shots, and uh, was able to knock down some shots today. He gives give us that a uh, little bit extra boost that we needed, and um, that was big for us in the third quarter. Why did you so successful playing back-to-back games? You're 8-0 no on the second night in back-to-backs this season. Really? Yeah. Do you guys like playing back-to-back? I don't, I don't think we <laughs> even think about back-to-back. We just come out there and uh, try to do our job. Um, I think, you know, you create a winning culture. So it doesn't matter if you're hurting. It doesn't matter if you're um, tired. The next guy up is you know ready to go so you know everybody wants to play everybody wants to win and uh, that's why we win games and sometimes it's back to back you lose games because you're tired right and you just give up but this team don't do that so I think that's all we, we really don't think about oh it's a back to back we're going to win it we just know that we got to go out there and do our job which is win games Eric, take the last one, please. without without you last night obviously Chris had to take over late what have you seen from him this year to be able to do that more often? He did the same thing tonight where a couple big shots just at his pace and he was just kind of in control of the game. Uh, man, it's big. It's big. You know, we definitely need uh, that from Chris. You got to keep doing that all, all season long now in the playoffs. You know, he, he's going to help the team a lot. And uh, he's been playing great. He's been playing with really high confidence uh, before the break and after the break. And, uh, you know, that's what we expect from Chris. And, um, He's been delivering lately.